Hold on, I'm gonna pin you. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, good. She's looking great. She's so looking that's good. where we left off last week. Okay, good. Um, I feel like maybe I need to like do a little more colors and lines or something. Yeah, but not with wax. So this is where we're gonna switch gears. Okay, uh -huh. so what I would think about what I would think about is sort of wrapping up with the wax and switching gears to another painting medium. And the other painting medium can be, I would go probably pigment sticks. Okay. So if you feel like there's enough stencils or flowers on there um, and you like the texture, you feel like you like the thickness of the stencils. I still feel like some of the stencils are a little bit too, Cook, like too perfect, like too perky, almost too right. high or too thick. So maybe like the, this. Yeah, or that one. This um, one. Yep, that one. And then the one right on her hair, the leafy one, the new one we did. No, I think that side's fine. This one. This? Yeah, I think that's a little bit too. And again, like maybe again, we're looking at it for texture, but then also, um, you know contrast we're kind of looking at it for all those things so okay do you think i need another flower here i was thinking that you know what i was just gonna oh my god yeah exactly you need something there you uh -huh. need definitely need something there because it needs to kind of it's like empty space so we need yeah. to feel balanced with the whole thing so yeah what could we put there let's look at what we have i wouldn't put a flower there because it's more like a leafy form so what yeah. else do you think we could put there? Um, butterfly or? We could put a butterfly, let's see what, yeah, let's let's go ahead and look at what you have and let's pick something. Or something like sort of abstract. It doesn't have to be a leaf. Oh, it doesn't okay, have to be yeah. a thing. Okay, yeah. It could be something else. It could just be something that you like. It could like, just be. But these are small flowers maybe. That could be fine. You could do like a cluster of those. Um, if you do do those, I would do them two, I would do them in two places so that they balance out. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm just gonna see what else for this guy. I have that guy. I use that a lot. I really like that. Um, I feel like the same thing though. If you use that guy, you'd have to put it somewhere else. But I, I would go, with, I would go with either of them. I think that the flowers are too busy. I would go with the dots. Yeah, yeah. The I'm just looking to see if there's any. But this is too, I think, no, modern. Too, yeah, too modern, too. Yeah. It's too honeycomb. It like talks about, it's like references science or something. Yeah, okay, so I'll just do that then. Yeah, and I would do it. Remember how too we talked a little bit um, last meeting about you know how you draw a flower, right? So you, we draw a flower, you know, like a teardrop shape or a petal. I would do those bubbles in sort of like two brush strokes that kind of made a leafy shape, right? This, this. Yeah, yeah, because that's like the theme. That's like the vibe you have going on. So that's the idea. Like you might as well express yourself and stay. Even though it's not a cookie cutter flower, it's like kind of in that in that shape, okay. in that overall shape. So what do I do? So I have this here. Right, and you, well, you know what we haven't done, which I think we should do. I think we did a little bit that's at the end of last session. Underneath, on the photo there, you have a dark color, right? It's like a yeah. dark gray. So why don't we add those bubbles in a dark color? Like you don't want to put a light color on top of it. So let's go ahead and use a dark colored paint. Uh huh. So um, you're talking about the, the caustic. Yep, and caustic. No, I'm talking about wax. We're gonna use wax. Oh, okay. So do you have like a dark gray and caustic, or a a medium gray? Uh, well, I haven't. I ordered it the same day we spoke but uh -huh. i haven't received it i have black and i have 
like, I don't know if you can yeah. see. No, I can see them. So you can mix them on your palette with a lighter color, blend them together. So go ahead. Yep, you can go ahead and melt them on the hot plate. Yep. And then you can melt them with like a little bit of a lighter color. And you can add some wax medium. Remember, it's a little bit like making like a, a, a sauce, right? So you can add a little bit of that, a little bit of, yeah, you can add a lot more wax medium than that. Oh, more than that? Yeah, because what the more wax medium that you add, the more like of a flow, like, you know, you're gonna get more translucency, you're gonna get more flow. Boy. You're gonna spread it a little bit better. Okay, so I have to be ready with what I'm going to do. Well, no, yeah, take your time. I mean, you can let that sit on the hot plate indefinitely. Okay, so. Now, let me tell you this. Another thing you can do is if you wanted to use a little bit of masking tape, you could kind of like make a shape or you can actually use masking tape to hold the stencil down so it's not moving around while you make a shape on it. Okay. So if you have a piece of masking tape or something, you. you could, yep, you can use that. And just a little piece on the stencil will just, it'll help you from the stencil moving around yes. while you're painting on it. Yes, yes. So, and if you can kind of see, and you've got, you've got a nice, I mean, even with your, you know, think about a nice brush stroke in one way, at like two half moons, right? Kind of coming together, two um. semicircles. It's gonna be a little hard, but I will do it. Also, yeah, and also, listen, the thing about the wax and the stencils, right, is that they're hard, it's when you, it's hard to brush, right? So it's hard to get it to go like this. You almost wanna do it like in pieces. So you, a dab, like, so it's like you're putting, don't try to brush it. It's too hard for your arm. It's too hard for the wax. It's like, it's just, complicated so try just so dab. here uh -huh. I can go like here and here or... you could I was thinking more of like a leafy shape like um I was thinking more of a leafy shape like like you know like an eyeball like an eyeball oh okay you know and then maybe another one like this right okay. so it's like here I can here I can draw it even better hold on yeah, now I know what you're saying, yeah. Because underneath, it's like, we've used, it's like, to me, like leaves are basically, you know, like, you know, like these types of shapes. Like they're almost like um, eggs or ovals, you know, teardrops. Uh -huh. So I think of that, I think of like a bunch of these making up. In that area. Yeah, leaves or petals, and they can be different sizes. So you could do like one big, do you, you see what, it, like cluster, you know uh -huh. what I mean? And it doesn't have to be exact. It can be the kind of shape. And li literally, if you take a, a large, do you have a larger hockey brush? I do. Okay. This is yeah. too big. No, yeah. it's fine. It's good. So if you use that. And this compared to here is like, no, but look, you're going to do, you're not going to, you're not going to brush. You're going to go straight up and down. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. And two of those brushes basically make up this. Do you see okay. that? Yes. So it's like, look, if I drew a line, this looks like a strawberry now, but if I, it also, if I drew two of these, that's two of those brushes. Do you see that? One, yes. two yes. together make that leaf shape. Okay. And then we can fine tune the shape later, but it's okay. the best way to put the wax on with the stencil. It's the basic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So I'll get this a little wet. Yep. So soften the brush, get nice and waxy. Yep. And you want to have plenty of wax on the hot plate. Don't be St I always tell people, don't be stingy with the wax. You want it to be like, you want to have a lot there. And you can move that panel closer to you and straight up and down, just drop. Yeah, good. Yes, exactly. So I call this a dab versus a brush stroke. So when you're brushing, you're dropping and pulling. But for this, you're just like stamping. Consider it like stamping. You're just dropping yeah. that brush and depositing that paint there. 
and you're creating a, like a gestural shape, right? You're not being, yes, beautiful. And I think that's such an easier way because you can control or fine tune that shape later. Later, yeah. With a tool. So you can have some. It just gives you a nice deposit to work with and it might be easier than trying to stroke with the way with your with your arms yeah, yeah, yeah. that's okay oh is that hard it's okay you I'm, can go a little bit on the side too if that's hard on your wrist i'm used to it <laughs> not really i'm not used to it now ah, well look you're learning how to um adapt I deal with it I mean, I, week, I took a medis medication before uh -huh. our class, but today I didn't. That's okay. I think it helped me before. It did. Should okay. I peel it off? Yeah, definitely. I don't, yeah. Okay, so let's fuse it. Always have to go through our little steps. Let's fuse it. And then I think you should, before you judge it, go ahead, fuse it. Before you decide anything about it, okay. Before you decide anything about it, let's add another one like that somewhere else. So yeah. I always feel like let's not judge it, let's just keep going and then we'll look back later. Maybe here. Maybe, yeah, maybe, or maybe, yeah, maybe under that white flower where those dark flowers are. Yeah. Oh, here? No, no, closer to the flower. It's closer to the white flower at the there, top. Here. Yeah, up there. Yep, right there. Yep. Add it right there. I think that's lovely. And just feel artistic, like don't be like, you know, just put it wherever you think it looks good. It doesn't have to make sense. Don't try to make it logical. Okay. Don't try to make it make sense. It just, it is what it is. It's how you feel. It's where okay. you want. Just and there I go. <laughs> yes, exactly. Don't hold back. If you see, if you feel the impulse to add, add, because guess what? We can always take it off, you okay. know? And maybe you want to add a couple more like, I always like to look like, I always think of weaving. So if I have one here, I always think I like one over top someplace else so that it blends, starts blending together. Okay. So maybe you want to add some more of that color somewhere else. If I make a color too, I tend to want to use it up on the palette. So that means like, you know, um, use it up on the palette means you just put it on, get it off the palette onto the panel, maybe over another flower, maybe anywhere you see a dark color, you know use what I'm saying? That more. I just try to use it up and put it in there. Okay. How do you like that? I think I'm gonna bring this table closer. All right, be careful. It's locked. Oh yeah, I have tables on wheels too. I love them. Yeah. Oh no, here it is. Careful of your cords. Are you oh you plugged in? Yeah. I think I was too far from you. Ah, okay. Oh, you couldn't hear me? No. Okay. What did you say? Oh, no. oh, yeah, before for a minute, I didn't hear you. Oh, okay. Okay, no, so that's better. I did this. Yeah, I love it. Yes, I love I it. Think, okay. Yeah, do you see how that's kind of like, and it also it's good to do this type of like overlaying with a, me, with a medium color. 
Like it's not so light, it's not so dark. So it's, it's kind of in the middle and it's working well. Okay. So you want me to use the same color somewhere else, right? I mean, I can go up here. I would do it, yep, I would do yeah. it, yep. Excellent. Same thing, yep. right? Yep, same thing. And again, it could be in that, like, right, that sort of like leaf shape, right? Like this, uh -huh. where you're okay. doing the two strokes up like this. So you're making a leaf shape. Okay. Um, or you could literally just make, you can literally just make a square and then you can carve it into a leaf later. But if you just dab that brush, yeah. I think you'll get, I think you'll get what you want. Okay. Well. Yep, and then use the, yep, go ahead and use the heat gun. I, if you I need want. one more in here. I did two. Okay. Yeah, listen to your instinct. You know, you're an artist. You love art. You appreciate art. You understand art on composition. So just use what you you know. Apply what you already know to what okay. you're working to what you're working on, right? Okay. Even though it's an unfamiliar material, yeah. you you have a lot of art knowledge. So just you have to go with your gut. Okay. Okay, so I love it. Yeah. I love it. I really think it gave you, I think it gave you yes. an overall sense of balance. Yes. And I feel like everything looks a little bit more incorporated. I now, agree. I would do one more thing um, before we start painting, and I would just go back to a wax medium layer, just okay. plastic wax, and kind of go over, like, let me show you. Maybe just some wax. Let me take a picture. Hold on. Do you see? Uh, I'm gonna switch to the. I'm gonna switch to the Photoshopy thing. Hold on. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lighten this up for us. Okay, so I really like these textures. I think we need to do a little bit of like what I would call like refinement now. So what I would do is I would sweep I, I see, I would, I'm going to use black, but that's, I don't, you know, I don't want you to do, I want you to use the clear medium, yeah. uh -huh. but I'm thinking like this way and okay. this way, this is going to look really nice. And then maybe like the same thing, let me say, and then maybe like this way, what do you think? Yeah. With wax medium. How and about then, under her neck, next to her neck, that dark spot? This one? I don't know what to do there. Well, we're going to paint it, but do you see how I just made it darker? It looks so much better. I mean, uh -huh. I just want you to focus on blending these textural layers with the wax medium. So I okay. want you to go from like here to here with the big okay. brush, wax medium, just a nice okay. smooth stroke. And also here, I want you to do one nice stroke here and then off this corner and then one nice stroke here over her shoulder. Okay. And then and then we're gonna start painting. Okay. Gonna, and then we're gonna fuse and then we're gonna scrape and then we're gonna start painting. And we're getting close to being done with this one. 
I think we have a couple more okay, things. This is a wide brush. Let me say. So, yeah, yeah. And don't worry about, you want a lot of wax on there. Yep, beautiful. And then do the other one. Yep, start on the, you can start. Yep, perfect. Yep, and then do the other one. Good. The other one was. It um, was from, from. Oh, yeah. Yep, from the top. Yep, perfect. Okay, great. Now okay. fuse, yep, fuse that. So you're trying to make it a little more foggy. Well, right. And the clear, like where the areas where there aren't details, you want them to be foggy and soft, like they're out of focus. You need like, it's almost like a song. Like, have you ever done anything musical? So, yeah. okay. So it's like, you have a, like a bunch of like active high notes or whatever. And then you want something like low and steady to compromise. Like you want contrast. So yes. consider the stencils as being like busy. busy and then the empty spaces, you want them really quiet so that they play off of each other. Okay. Okay. So now I think what I'd like you to do is some type of overall scraping. Overall shaping? Scraping. So, Scrape. yeah, if you want to use the razor blade or a squeegee, some type of tool to kind of just sort of bring everything together. Oh, here it is. Like this guy is the... Sure, if you're liking that guy, yeah. Did you order the other one? The I other did, one? I haven't that's received okay. it. That's okay, use that one now. But use it on its side. Don't use it on the point. This use it, way. yeah, use it like you're, yeah, use it like you're icing a cake. So you want me to go through where I... I want you to just kind of go over the whole thing. Oh. Just like you're just scraping the whole thing. Yep, just not, don't worry about any particular detail. Just scrape the whole thing. Like you're, yep, like you're icing a cake. You're icing a flat cake and you're just kind of going over. You're just going over the whole thing. Yep, very nice, excellent. Yep, and what you're doing is you're just kind of like, you know, kind of getting everything just Mush. together. Yeah, blended together. Okay, that looks good. Now do the other side. <clears throat> How does that look? Nice. It's got a little messy on this side. Okay. It's okay. This side got a little. Okay, so you know what you can do when you're done scraping? Do you feel like you're happy with the scraping? Yeah, I think there's there was more on here, but yeah. Okay, so you can, to make it unmessy. A little more right here, there's a slot well, there. Okay. And what you could do when you're done scraping, uh -huh. if you wanted to just clean up any little like rough spots or anything yes. that's sticking yeah. up. You can just hit them gently with the heat gun. Okay, yeah. Because that'll just kind of take anything that's sticking up, you know. That has the edge. Yeah, flatten it down, make it go bye-bye. Okay, would you add another color too? No, because we're gonna add color now. We're gonna add color now with pigment stick. Okay, so now I think we're ready to paint. Okay. We're ready to paint. So let me go, hold it up for me. Let me take a picture and I'll just, I'll just quickly, I'll just give you, you can just watch me for a second. Okay, hold it up. Yep, beautiful. Let me take a picture. It's beautiful. No, I'm really happy of it. Uh, I think there's a couple, there's a couple things that I would clean up. Okay, so put the piece down and then you can look at my, 
Look at my screen for a second. Uh -huh. Okay, so like this thing here, like I know this is yeah. this if this this thing here, like I would just scrape it off, like this little one on her forehead. Like I would try yeah, to, yeah, yeah. I would try to take a wood tool. Did you see how I just I cleaned up her uh -huh. forehead? Also, okay. like if this is sticking on her cheek, I would just scrape that back. If this is wax, I would scrape that off. Now, yes. Okay. Put on her eye. There's well, something. if there's wax on her eye, is there wax on her eye here? Yeah, I can't tell. But is that a scratch on the photo or is it? I don't know. It could be. Okay. Well, if you can't feel it with your finger, don't dig on it because we can just cover it up. We're going to like redraw her eye. Yeah. Okay. So if you if you can't fix it with the wax, we'll fix it with the paint. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So here too, like if this is a ridge or a line, you can take a wood tool and just, you know, kind of make it go away. Just okay. so it's like this one. Now I'm look as I ooh, as I'm looking, as I'm looking at it. Do you see this leaf here? This one uh -huh. here. Maybe you want to add more of that. Maybe you need to oh, add okay. something here. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. It's like there's like nothing here. There's this pink flower right. over here, and then there's this leaf. Right. Maybe you need to add a little bit more wax here. Uh huh. Okay. Do you, you want to go like this the same? Yeah, I would do that again, like we did before. Why don't we do that first? Okay. And then we'll start painting it. I think everything else looks good. Okay. And again, you're just going to put the brush on like a little triangle, like two, two times, dab it from the bottom. It can be falling off the side of the panel, right? Yeah. Okay. I should have kept the brush on the uh, thing because it got... Stiff. That's okay. Just give it a second. It'll... Okay. All right, did you do it? And I don't know if you can see. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful. It's a Beautiful. little long, but. No, I love it. Let it be there. Let it, I love it. I love it. This okay. is like one of the things that you have to like, the wax is wax. It's making these yeah. things. I love I love those little circle patterns. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, it's great. I do beautiful. too. Now I mean, I if you it. wanted to shape it, if you wanted it to shape it, you could take the little scraper tool and you can shave off both shape sides. Uh -huh. But I like it just the way it is. Okay. Okay. I mean, this is all practice, right? I'm just learning. Of course. And you're I'm saying it to myself because I'm so tough on myself yeah no and that's the thing too is you have to allow you know room for imperfection and room for mm -hmm. learning and room for processing okay so technically this is the photo of your piece but you just added one more thing which is fine so right. i'm gonna lighten this image a little bit and then what i want you to do is we're gonna start painting with pigment sticks okay so when i do uh pigment sticks i usually do the color itself and then i do white or a lighter color like off white white and then a darker color so the darker color can be any dark color it can be um green blue purple brown black right 
I don't care what. You don't mean mixing it with lighter and darker. Yeah, mean... yeah, I do. I, I mean, pick oh. a color, pick a color. So say, for example, you picked red or orange or pink. Okay. Right? I want you to use that color, but then I also want you to use white. Okay, I get And it. a dark color so that you're making. With the pink. Yeah, so you put the oh. pink on. Now I use, um, when I paint with pigment sticks, I use wax paper or parchment pa paper as a, wax paper, yeah. As a painting palette. Okay. So you can go ahead and get your get a piece of wax paper. Okay. Okay, beautiful. Oh, that one's perfect. Now pick your favorite color. Pick any, then just, and this is like, pick what makes you happy. Pick your favorite color that you want to paint with today. Unfortunately, be... pink is not here. Pink makes me happy. Well, make, we can make pink. Do you have a red or burgundy? Yeah, I have this red, which is also good. But... Okay, so okay. use the red. I love, is it the, tur which red is it? Is it Turkish red? Is it red? Yes. Turkish Turkey red? red. Turkey, Turkey red is my very favorite. That's my oh, very really? favorite. Yes, that's my favorite red. Okay. It's Perfect. dry or something. Okay. Turkey red, I love. Okay, so I have some of this on here. Okay. And then pick your two, uh, pick a dark color and a light color. So you want one lighter than that red. It could be light yellow. It could be cream. It could be white. Okay. Whatever makes yellow. you. Yellow. Sure. Just go next to it. Yep. And then pick a dark color to go next to that. So your dark color could be black, black, brown, dark blue. Hey. How about this brown? Yeah. Great. I think it's called brown pink. Perfect. That might not be dark enough though. Oh, okay. But you could do you have like a do you have like a graphite gray or a, a, yes. tur a Turkish green or burnt umber? Burnt umber, perfect. Much better. Okay. Yeah. The brown pink or I actually love that color too, but that's not I wouldn't consider that a dark color. That's a mid-tone color. Oh, should I look for? No, you're fine with the umber. You the burnt... okay. Yeah, you're fine with that. Yep. Oh, I see it. Okay, I got it. So these are my colors. Okay, and I would do a white. Do you have a, a... I would add a white. A white, yep, add some white. I have, yeah, it's neutral white. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go back and look at your picture. Now you have your paint. Uh -huh. So let's go back and look at your picture. So look at the computer with me. Uh huh. You basically have one, two, three, I'm going to say four, five, six flowers that are all that peachy color. Okay. Right. And then you have one, two, three, three flowers or more that are white okay yes. mm -hmm. and then you have the purple leafy leafy things which i think should go gray or or black they could go gray black or they could go green if you wanted to add green i don't know if you want to add green green is um, green is a challenging color so let's not do that yeah so i'll do like gray or black Okay, right. So if you're going to use gray, every time that you would use green, just replace it for gray. So it's almost like, like for anything that's le a leaf, right? And then you have to decide what color is her hair going to be. What color do you think her hair is going to be? Black. Black. Okay. Or dark brown. Okay. So I'll get another a wax paper. Um, I feel like we might. I'm sorry. I feel like we might have to paint her hair first. Okay. Because if we don't paint her hair, 
now we'll end up painting over top of all if we paint all the flowers and okay. then we paint her hair we're going to have problems okay you know and what so i mean is that going to be brown or black you think why don't you do the burnt umber with some black in it do a brownie okay. black blue uh, okra this one is Greener. It looks like black, but it's not. Graphite gray. Oh, do graphite gray. That's my favorite. Okay. So what I would do, you know what I want you to do is I just want, I'm going to turn this off. I want you just to take the graphite gray and I want you just to paint her hair. So wait, do you want to, so this is what I want you to do. Wait, I'm going to go okay. back. Hold on. I want you to take the graphite gray. So I want you just to take it and go like this. Hmm. Okay. Now do I use it with my fingers or brush? So did you see I did one? Yeah. Two, three. And then I did one. I want you to actually put the stick on, on her, on the panel, right? I want you to go over. Oh. Just go over everything. Don't worry about it. Just go over. Ooh. Just go over everything you have on there with the graphite stick. Yeah, so just use the stick. Just, yep, get it flowing. And then just go literally like this. Just go squiggle along her hairline, squiggle. Not heavy, just soft. Just yeah, one, two, three times on the left on the left. Yep. And one time on the right. That looks good. Yep. One right. time. Yep. Yeah. Just follow where it starts along. Yep, that's good. Okay, yep. You don't need any more than that. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, you now, did it. <laughs> yep. No, you did great. Okay, so grab your paper towel. Grab a paper towel. Are you impressed how I have everything right near me? You're perfect. You're like perfect. You're like, you're like painting. For so then take the paper towel and make like a, yeah, like a little point or a ball at the end. And then just gently start rubbing it in a circle. Breathe. 